Hello, this is Heng from Cambo Tutorial. This video, we're gonna implement an app that can switch multiple languages inside the app without changing the system language. For this feature, we we'll gain more users to install from a different country who can't read English, which is a default language, or make user more confidence using our app. And this is the final result that we're going to do today. We can change the language by tapping on any languages and the text is gonna change as the following. And even we restart the application, it still remember the setting that we have changed. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, firstly, we create a new project that's gonna be called a uh, link app test. And then open the main activity that we're going to design the UI interface. So we're gonna insert two new linear layouts. One is for wrap text and the other one is for control the language content. So first let's insert the first linear layout. Width and height should be match parent. And the layout weight is a want because we want both linear layout have the same height and the orientation is uh, gonna be vertical. And then we're gonna do the same things for the second linear layout. Let's change this constraint layout to the linear layout. And the padding should be uh, 15 dp. And the orientation is gonna be vertical. Okay. Now I'm gonna copy the country flex into the trouble folder that we will use it later on. And then in the second linear layout, we insert the I make button with this code for the English language. And we're gonna insert another two I make buttons. And these I make buttons, we have different feature in the SRC attribute value. And we have unique ID to identify each of those. Okay. Now we go to the first linear layout and we're gonna insert a text view for display the sample text. We're gonna set the text size to the 20 SP and the text is get from the string resource that we will not yet create. And the other one is the button to open the new second activity. And about the text too, we will get it from the string resource. So we're gonna open the string resource file. Let's go to the rest value and strings.xml file. And here we're gonna define a string called this uh, grid and the value is for example we're gonna say hello this is uh, English language and the string go for the button and the last is for the content in its connectivity that we will create in the future let's say this uh, it the value is gonna be um, for example, I eat apple. Okay, so we will create a new string resource file for a translate this to the Korean language. To do this, we're gonna right click on the rest folder, new Android resource file, and then we're gonna select this locale. And then we go going to find the Korean flage. This one, okay. Then the region, we don't care. We're gonna choose any regions by default. And then the file name is gonna be called a strings.xml file and this is the same name as the default string resource because this one is for the Korean language okay here we're going to define the same element which have uh, the same string name but the value we're gonna translate it to the Korean language 
it should be Annyeong Haseyo. Hangugo Ibnida, which means hello, this is Korean language. Okay. Now we're gonna add another element, which is a uh, go. The value is kayo. And the last one is it. And in Korean, we're gonna say sakwaru mokoyo. And then we're gonna do another one is for Khmer language, Cambodian language. We do the same thing. Okay, right click on the rest, new, Android resource, locale, and then we find the flag and the name as uh, gonna be strings.xml. We do again, name is the grid and the value is Sustay Ni Ji Pisa Khmer. Go is the uh, and the last one is it. Yum yum pow. Okay, now um, we can go back to the main layout. String slash grid. Grid is which is the name of string resource, and we can see the preview here is in English, which is the default language. Okay, and the button with the string resource go and the id we're gonna call is a btn underscore go okay we now go to the main activity java class we're gonna find a reference id of each imic button so when we tap on it that's gonna be change the language in the activity it is gonna be uh, for english this one for korean and this one for the Khmer language Okay, so we're gonna set the action click on those buttons. Okay, guys, please wait a moment. I'm gonna change this to the Java 8, which is supported Lambda expression. I'm gonna go to the file, project structure, module, and I'm gonna set this to the 1.8 and this one too. So, all right, in here, we're gonna define an empty body click action each of this I make button first. We do this because we want to make more clean code by designing the language manager class to control all the languages setting. And then we're gonna use that method in here, okay? Now to do this, we're gonna create a new Java class file. We're gonna call it a language manager. And then we're gonna define a private context which will path through the constructor from the activity class when we instance the language manager object. Okay, now it's time to implement the language setting. We're gonna create a new method called update resource. And the parameter is string, which is the language code that we will pass through it. And the body, we instance the object locale, and we're gonna pass the code in the constructor. Now we call the static methods set default and we're gonna pass the locale inside the parentheses and then we're gonna set the local to the configuration setting before we can do that we're gonna get resource and then we're gonna get a configuration and set the locale to the configuration locale and then we're gonna update the configuration by saying resource dot update configuration for the first parameter is going to be configuration and the second is display metrics okay now we actually made the methods for update the language resource then in main activity we're going to instance the language manager and each of these action we're going to call the methods for example in english button we're gonna call that length.update resource and we're gonna pass the language code which is the en and the language code we can find in here or when we create a strings.xml we're gonna see this value represent of the language code okay 
And then after that, we call the regrade method to refresh the all controls that we have translated. And now we're gonna create a second activity. And then we're gonna go to this content layout for the second activity. Now I'm gonna insert another tag view and the tag is gonna get from the string resource, which is uh, it. Okay. And then to open from the main activity, we're gonna perform an action on a button. Okay, and this block statement will open the second activity. And now let's test this application. Okay, now this show us in English language. And if I hit another language, we will see the activity refresh and change to the new language as expect. As we see here, if we don't want the app refresh like this, we have to remove this regret method and set the text with the string resource below this statement. Okay, there is no problem if we have a few controls, but we will hard code write all the control to change the language at once. And that's here, I'm not going to do that, okay? Now we go back to the application and now if we exit the app and we relaunch again by clear with recently app, we will see the language is go to the default. And if I tap change the language again and open up the new activity, it doesn't change the language in the second activity too. Okay? And this is because of the app no idea to remember what we want to do. And we're gonna need a small data to set the language for remember what we have changed. We're gonna use the share preference class to sell the small amount of data. So let's go to the language manager class and we're gonna define a private share preferences. And then we're gonna instant it in the constructor with the context get share preference. And the first parameter is gonna be name and you can name whatever. And the second is gonna be mode. I'm gonna set its private mode. And then we will create a new method, set length. The parameter is a string, which is the language code. And we will call the editor method. After that, we're gonna put the language code with the key. And let's say length, and then the key code. Last, we're gonna push that what we wrote with the commit method. And then we're gonna call this method inside this method. Okay, now this will not work with a second activity or another activity if you have more. And we don't want to write the same code again over again or the activity. So we're gonna create a new class, which is called app compat. And this class we're gonna extend it from app compat activity and we're gonna override a method on create, which is just like we do on the main activity. But in this class, it doesn't have a layout file. And we just use this class as a parent of each activity. Okay, then we're gonna instance new language manager and call update resource method. As we know that update resource methods require a language code. So we're gonna get the lat language from the shared preference. Let's go back to the main activity class again and create a new method get link with the return value as a string. We're gonna get language code from the key, which is length here. And the second parameter is the default value if the key have no value. So I'm gonna set it as an en for the English language and we're gonna return it as the value. So in app compat, we're gonna get that by passing through the update resource. Now we can use it in activity by just inherit or extend it from app compat only. So now we're gonna run testing again. The language is changed even in the second activity. 
And now we're gonna relaunch with the clear recently app. And that's still remember what link we do we change. But if the user clear their data in the app, and that's would return is at the default value, which is the English language. Okay, and that's it today. Hope you guys learned how to make a multiple supported language in the app. So please subscribe for more interesting video. Be updated, stay safe, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.